Alrighty, welcome back to F Zero X Climax Platinum Cup Edition. We have just finished the Sonic Phantom in the last video, and now we are heading on to our next machine, which is on the bottom left. Black Shadow and the Black Bull. So, the main antagonist of the F Zero anime is now for the final cup. So let's jump into this one now, shall we? Now, all the tracks in the SNES edition in the Platinum Cup are based on their SNES or Remix counterparts. So basically, some of these are exact replicas of the SNES edition, while others are Remix editions based on Climax. Blood Falcon is not going to be very happy for me, that's for sure. So, quick character introduction. Black Shadow is the main antagonist of the M-Zero Falcon Den Setsu anime, and he's also the main antagonist in the overall series in the video game as well. Say so like X, GX, that, that continuity. Cupid Legend as well has that issue. And so does Climax. Black Shadow is the big fan of the series. Now, while the early stages now, episode 40, 39 even, or, yeah, episode 40 makes no appearance. But now he's just getting close to his grand dream of just getting rid of the galaxy and rebuilding it in his own will. Uh, any James, any um, any references to Mega Villains, anybody? I can think of one, but that's from the uh, 007 franchise, which is not well. They spent the most of the time from Zilla. But then again, why, why is that not new? Why is that not new indeed? I wonder. It's not new because, spoiler alert later on in the video, there will be spoiler alerts later on in the video. But anyway, this machine is, let's just say it's not great. Oh, hello, there goes Leon. He's not going any further, that's for sure. But yep, you can lap the people here. You can definitely lap the people on the uh, max speed accelerator, max speed settings on this track. So Baba, oh yeah, I did take Baba off, didn't I? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. I took two, two of my own um, minions off, I think is the word. And that's it. Big Billow is next up. Now this track is based on the second track of Climax Platinum. Which in itself is based on the Sinead's version of the same name. This track is just a lot more difficult to be honest. And it also replaces one of the shortest tracks in the game. Yeah. You definitely see where this is going to go, don't you? For that, that's nice. Black Bull, though, it's got good. It's got the best body in the game, best grip in the game, but has the worst boost in the game. In fact, it's the only machine out of this whole lot of thirty that has an E grip, which means, yeah, bottom of the barrel, mate. Yeah, bottom of the barrel, matey. He's also the heaviest machine in the game, which will make advanced tech difficult with this thing. Yeah, you don't really want to be doing that one. Unless you absolutely have full faith in the abilities of the Black Shadow. Or the, uh, the Black Shadow and the Black Bull. And you're going to be very reliant on the dash base, which I'm having to hit. It's heavy, it's heavy machinery. It also makes it very difficult for uh, him to move around. Not, it's, it's not a particularly nice machine. To, it's not a particularly nice machine to play with. Let's be honest. Playhouse, let's be honest. Yeah, being e equipped does not help me at all in the boost department. And I don't like that. So anyway, Black Shadow in the act in this stage of the anime is now. We all know he's the main antagonist, but he now is going to be taking it up a notch with his manipulative way to try to see the galaxy in the way that he fits. And he will use whoever people to do it in. That's it. 42 makes him proper. If he makes him look him properly again in episode 42, where he disappears off, it's because something tells me he's trying to test the minions again. Whose minions are one of them? Well, it's Black Shadow's minions, but there we go. The 
It's a blood falcon again, not finishing. Pretty run the mill. He's a clone. So, yeah. There we go. Sand Ocean next up. As previously mentioned, this track is the third track in the in the in the SNES edition. It's the it's a sick track, I believe, in the uh, Climax edition. And this track is unchanged. This track is unchanged from all three games it appeared in. It's one of the few tracks that remain unchanged. And there goes, uh, there goes uh, Butt Monkey again. I mean, he is a Butt Monkey, Zuda, my friend. My, uh, he's not my friend. He's nobody's friend. That's the problem. He has his opinions, but I wouldn't exactly call them friends now, would you? But anyway, we we don't need to deal with him because he's just made his exit stage right in the first part of the circuit. Yeah, you don't really want to be. Yeah, this is definitely where things start to get a little bit difficult. This heavy machine really does cause a few issues here. Come on, just, just turn, you good grief. Good grief, just turn. Please, just turn for me, baby. This thing is a pin in the ball. This thing is a pin in the arse. But there we are. Come on, there we go. Give me up. Definitely need his energy. 42, he makes a disappearing act. Temporarily does a disappearing act. And then makes a reappearance shortly afterwards at the end of doing it to 44, where I don't know what. Which is not exactly a funny episode, let's be honest. Because do that with now new knowledge tries to actually kill Black Shadow for his own uh, well, for his own ex. And it well, let's just say it was going well. More of that when we get to Zuda's chapter. He then makes a reappearance again in episode 45 or 44, one of the two. I think it's 45 or anything. Where he tests that reactor might thing again. You know those little round things which go that thing, that sort of thing with the round thing which looks like a bomb. Yeah. They are making the appearance in that section, let's just be honest here. So now we go on to our next track, which is Red Canyon 2, another one of the unchanged tracks in the game. Throughout Snares and Climax, it doesn't make an appearance to the legend though that appearance was left down to Red Canyon 1. Ah, uh, for goodness sake, this heavy machine is not doing me any favours again. Nor is the skull because he decides he wants to take an exit. Good grief, this heavy machine man, it's so heavy! But eventually I managed to get around by... Oh, I eventually managed to get around the track, it's, it's fine for the most part. Most part, but I do need to hit the yellow place because the yellow place are class C is the equivalent of C grade boost, black shadows and E grade, so it does make hitting the place vital. Which is something which I'm not doing. At least I've got plenty of energy. At least I've got plenty of energy. Not that that's going to do me any favours, especially with E grade boost, as I've previously mentioned. Wallace, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a miss there. Don't really want to be hitting plates here at this stage. Well, it's alright if it's weak enough, because then it gets rid of the evil spirit. Oh no, I forgot, Black Shadow is an evil spirit, so it doesn't really need to be up. We definitely don't want Greek plates when they're near Black Shadow. And there you go, We're rambling off topic, but there you are. It's just me in a nutshell, eh? Black Shadow then tries to kill Ryu. Here for his own ends. Ah, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I can definitely see where that's going. Sons 2 is SNES remix of the same name. It's the si sign of Sons 2, that sort of thing. It's a track of the same name. It's just got an extra. It's just got a, like a bit of an extra like handhold on it. That's about it. That's the only difference between it, it's uh, its uh, SNES counterpart and the Primax counterpart. Someone's already decided it's a good idea to do it themselves. And again, it's. Uh, let's pretend it's a bit tight. Ah. Two machines, nice. You definitely need to get these machines off the track. I am not trusting the... I am not trusting the jump with this machine. The machine is just too heavy. It's too heavy, and that's not a good sign. And I've already made previous complaints about this earlier in the video. The absolute worst machine. Oh, oh. I have to get out of the pit area then, just to make sure I can get my enough speed. The, the problems are going to be easily to Safety definitely a mind of this trap because I really do not want to be flying off in the air at this stage. Black Shadow is just too heavy. I mean, he, I think he's been eating a few too many burgers, let's be honest. Well, his machine has. Whatever people make, whatever makes him mad, he's just been eating too many of them. Now he's been eating too much food in general. Well, the Black Bull's been eating too, many, too much food in general. Then again, he has actually been. Um, then again, he does have two reactor mites in his vehicle, as shown in episode 47, much to be surprised. And everybody's surprised, actually. And then tries to, he actually succeeds in kidnapping Drew to try and brainwash him in exactly the same way as he brainwashed his killer earlier in the anime, which, well, was revealed in episode 36, but not shown. Much to the um, little people as well. It's good thing it's a bit dark, I know. Brainwashing people is just dark. It's just forcing people to do things against their own will, but there you are. But this is Black Shadow, don't forget. He's remorseless. So, his final notable appearances were in 49, 50, and 51. 49! Well, 48, he finds out that Miss Killer has betrayed him. 49, he re kidnaps her and sets the bait for you, and in episode 50, he decides to try and just start his plan to destroy the galaxy. I mean, yeah, too many rainbows? Yeah, you definitely... Well, that's... No! Oh, no, oh, never mind about that. We're gonna have to do that one again, eh? Hey, come on, at least we can at least try and get a machine. We, at least we can try and go through without losing a machine here. Now, come on, people. It's not that difficult. I mean, that... That could have ended worse. It did end up one. Oop, yep, it's definitely ended badly for two people. This bad handling is not doing me any favours again. Oop, there goes Billy. What a Billy. I mean, you're attacking the King of Evil. So anyway, actually, I missed the, I missed the point in episode 50. He um, he put Zuda into the Reap 4 Might. Oh, I've got an extra machine. Nice. As previously mentioned in the Skull video, the way you get lives back is by taking off ice machines. And I've done exactly that, so I've got a machine which I just lost back again. Alright, I really wanted to get Deep Core for that, Optiman for that, but I couldn't. This machine is so heavy! Heavy machinery, boys! Heavy machines, I say. Heavy machines, I do not recommend. So he forced, he put Zuda into the the big fusion machine that which houses all the reactor mites. He's the first one in there to try and, and now he sets the target off with you and Captain Falcon. He try and set the plan to seal off, seal views uh, reactor mites because at this stage he's now got two reactor mites. On the second one, which is Blood Falcon, we are four mites. I may add. 
so I'll elaborate that one a little bit further on down the line. Oops. That this machine. Come on now, this machine is still being here. I hate them. I hate this machine, it's still being here. Anyway, let's keep it going. Not too far away now. And in episode 51, he challenges you and then he challenges Falcon. So I'll leave the ending of that after I'll do other a little bit later on. Ooh, dear all me. Right. So, Black Shadow is all done. Hmm. Well, eventually managed to get it done. So, quite a lot of people didn't finish that, that's for sure. But at least we got through it. Right, so, put this into perspective. Um, all the cups done, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum done with Black Bull. Uh, Faults on the machine. Too heavy. Weak boost. Strong body and strong grip. But as an overall package, I wouldn't recommend. Um, in order to be able to, to get the maximum amount of points with this machine, you need to know the tracks inside out, and you also need to know how to use the Black Bull in a effective way. Because yes, you, could kind of, you can try and destroy people, but at the same time, if you do that, you risk a chance of not being able to win. The machine is strong, it's good for attacking, as shown by getting 16 people off. But in other words, you need the experience in order to get that machine up and running. That's just my viewpoint of this machine. Anyway, we are now onto the top three. Third place, Roger Buster with the Mighty Hurricane. Second place, Rack and the Mighty Typhoon. And last but not least, the winner and champion of the Platinum Cup, Black Shadow and the Black Boo. And final episode count for this, this is also episode 28, when you see Slotter Stewart in his, well, Darwinian thing, whatever you call it. It's the same episode as the Skull Wars previously mentioned. So, with that in mind, that's that machine up and running. That one's done. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, share the video to whichever, whoever you want to see it with. And let's bring this episode X Climax series to our absolute highest conclusion. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you on the next machine. And I have completely forgotten what it is. I think it's either hyperspeed or a space angle. But until then, we'll see you then.